Hey there, my name is John Ellison, and today is day nine of a random 30-day series where I'm sharing little snippets about myself because I thought like it sounded like a good idea. So, today I'm going to share with you my journey of finding my shape. So, as a user experience designer, early on uh, I was taught about this notion of a T-shape, where you have your breadth of competency or skill on the x-axis, that's how many different disciplines that you know, and then you have your depth of competency, which is how deeply and how well you know any given area. And I was advised by my mentor and some of the designers that I was working with at Clear Left and other places uh, that an ideal UX designer has good breadth and depth in one or two specific areas, and that's what makes a good UX designer. Now, this metaphor and this model could be applied to any discipline, really. And it basically demonstrates this balance between generalization on the X and specialization on the Y. And whether you're a software engineer or a product manager or a you know, manager in general, it doesn't matter what you do, there is this dimension of generalization versus specialization. And for me, I think a lot of our world lends itself to specialized people. My brother, for example, is a great example of a specialist. He always knew that he was going to be a scientist, um, and then he def defined himself as a physicist, then a plasma physicist, then a computational plasma physicist. He knew, and each step that he went was further down that road of specialization, and that served him really, really well. But for me, I'm just not that kind of person. I really struggle being put into one domain and having to go too deep for too long. I'm a generalist, and it took me a long time to accept that in myself. I was always forcing myself to be like a specialist, and it just didn't work. And I remember discovering this blog post, I'll try and dig it up for you if I can, about this designer, uh, I think she was an information architect actually, who was um, talking about this battle between generalization and specialization. And as soon as I just said, you know what, it's okay for me to be a generalist um, and embraced that in myself, I found that my skill set really began to flourish because I could identify that actually I need to surround myself with certain types of specialists and that I can do what I can do well, but there's other people to fill in the gaps. And so I just encourage you to use this model and almost map out visually what that breadth of domains and subject matter expertise that you hold and where you're strong. Map it out. See where you think you are and see where you think you want to be. And know that given that shape, you're going to fit really well into some projects and some environments and not so well in others. And actually, it's an amazing process to explore and to try out different shapes and see what makes sense. This is the kind of prototyping mindset that lean startups have brought into the business world and growth hacking into the marketing world. And for me, into personal development, I would really encourage you to just try out new things, create little time boxed experiments where you can test out a specific skill set, either in broad terms or in specific terms and see how it works for you, see how it feels and constantly use that measure, that guide of what it feels like when you are still what it feels like when you're quiet. Because I think there is a deep wisdom that arises in the subconscious mind, whether through meditation or when you're taking your five minute break in your Pomodoro session or through exercise or about to fall asleep, whatever it is, there's this amazing science and art of trying to listen to yourself and to listen to your life speak. So that's me, that's been my journey to finding my shape. Being a generalist as an entrepreneur has been really fulfilling. Um, I'm definitely not a uh, UX designer with a single specialization in research, say. Um, I can do lots of different things reasonably well, and I'm good at what I'm good at and not what I'm not. And that's been a really nice process for me to finally accept. Uh, thanks for your time today. Really look forward to sharing tomorrow. Let me know in the comments if you feel interested in one domain in particular. Throw out some questions. Happy to shape my content based on what people want to hear. Uh, bless you. Hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, be well and go out there. Find your shape and embrace it.